Okay, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Hey everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and I just got back from PAX East last night and decided to do a vlog for it. So, here we go. I just decided, instead of doing a bunch of different things over each and every day, I would do one big video. And here's the problem. I was like, okay, Jerome, here's the idea. You're gonna do that with a montage of clips, all from PAX. It was brilliant. I had it all thought out of my mind. And then, I left the cable. The only cable needed to connect my camera to the PC. So... All my videos are on that camera, and it's probably going to take about two weeks to order a new cable for that thing. So I decided instead of waiting that long to upload a vlog and it being completely irrelevant at the time, I would just upload those videos at a different time when, you know, I actually have the cord, so it might be up in a week or two. And in the meantime, I would just do a quick little vlog, tell you guys about my trip, some of the cooler parts about it, what was there, uh, what I thought about everything, and uh, just in general how much fun it was. So really, guys, PAX was awesome. I, I got there on, I think it was, it was early Friday morning, probably like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Okay, so it's not early for most people. It's early for me, 11 or 12 o'clock, because, you know, I just I don't like waking up early. So I woke up, and, like, you know, I got there at, like, 11 to 12 o'clock from a train all the way from Newark to, uh, to Boston. I decided to take a train. Most people took a plane. I, I took a train. I mean, it wasn't that bad at all. And when I finally got there, I took a taxi right over to the place, and I met up with uh, my roommates there. These are the people that I was staying with the entire time, which was Preston, uh, you know, TB and our frags, uh, Mitch, Bayesian Canadian, uh, Matt Nooch M and Zach Hippo H I H. You guys probably know all of them from my videos. At least I know Matt and Zach I haven't filmed within a little bit of time now, but the other guys I'm sure you all know. And I'm sure you guys have heard of them at least in some point of view. There's some some point of view. Some point in time. Some point in time. And uh, I'm sure you guys all know them. And it was a lot of fun. So when I got there, you know what I mean? As soon as I walked in the door, it was incredible. Because I just, I opened the door of the place. And I, I'm about to call Mitch. like, hey, Mitch, where are you? And all of a sudden, someone goes, Jerome. And I look, and there's four guys all just standing there like, here, can you sign all this stuff? And I was like, oh, my God. I, I didn't think anyone really wanted my signature. So for me, it was, it was really awesome. Because it was, you know, I, I've really only gotten to sign things a couple of times in my life, and throughout PAX, I signed maybe, like, ten things, and they may not seem like a lot, but to me, it was like, people want my signature, like, holy shit, like, it was, it felt really cool, it was on, it was honestly a great feeling, and they wanted to take pictures of me, everything like that, and instantly, when I'm looking over the sheet, once again, this, this vlog's really just gonna be a compilation of all funny stories and things that happened there, uh, but anyway, and I was looking over the sheet, right, just trying to see, like, okay, let, let's see who else has signed this, and I see Sly Fox, like, Sly's here? And they're like, yeah, dude, turn around. Literally, right behind me was Sly, and he goes, Jerome? And I'm like, yeah. And then he just goes on his rant, like, you piece of shit, blah, 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 like, cursing me out. I'm like, oh my god. And then finally, when everyone's looking at us, he just goes, I'm just kidding around. Come over here and give me a hug. I'm like, I was, like, terrified at this point. I'm like, oh, my God. But, but it was really fun just to meet him and talk to him for a little while and see him in real life. You know, ever since I made that video with him, I, you know, haven't really gotten, I haven't really gotten to talk to him since then or seen him really in real life. So that, that was really cool to meet him there. And uh, as soon as I got there, I went around for a little while, and the first person I saw, not Mitch, not any of those people I was telling about my roommates that I was looking for, actually was Noah. And then I met with Noah's crew, which, you know, is Noah, uh, Palmer, and Dr. PlayStation. They were all there. So it was really cool to see them, people that you normally film with all the time and just just put a face to the name is it's a great feeling and uh, after that we finally found and met up with uh, Mitch Nooch uh, Zach and well actually not Zach that day Preston and the reason we didn't meet up with Zach is because the night before he ate a food poisoned hamburger <laughs> uh, he got he got he, he doesn't know what it was he, he thinks it was the hamburger I should say he thinks it was we don't know for sure what it was but he got food poisoning nonetheless, and he was out of commission for all of Friday and about half of Saturday. It was it was bad. It, it was really bad. I felt so horrible for him, you know, to come all that way and not get to go there. But So I didn't get to meet him, and we walked around for a while, got to talk for a little bit, and everything was cool. And then finally, you know, we checked out some of the stands. I, I was really infatuated by, uh, what is it called, Dungeon Defenders 2, because I was a big fan of Dungeon Defenders 1. Uh, other than that, though... I gotta be straight, I really wasn't that impressed with a lot of the video game stands. I didn't really take the time and spend that much time there, because, I mean, I'll be honest, there are very few games that I actually do enjoy playing. Like, I'm kind of like, uh, like, at the time, I only played one game. Like, I played Minecraft now for, like, a year now, that's my game. Before that, I played, like, Modern Warfare, like, that was my game. Uh, before then, like, Halo 3 and Modern Warfare 2 for, like, two years. Like, I play one game consistently for, like, a year at a time, so for me... 
it really wasn't that cool getting to see all the games lined up there. I know, I know that kind of sounds bad, but really, I just had the most fun time getting to hang out with the people there. Because you do the stupidest stuff. And, uh, and later that night, fortunately, we're just hanging out in our room. And uh, Adam and no, Adam Sky does Minecraft and Ty Deadlocks as well as uh, Caveman Films and uh, Ian Sunday. It was so cool. They all came by, stopped in our room. We all hung out for about two to three hours, and it was nice to get to meet all of them. You know what I mean? Like. I don't know, I've talked to them on Skype a few times and things like that, and like, especially uh, leading up to the event at least, uh, specifically Ian, Ty, and uh, and Sky, I talked to them a lot, like, you know, like, I don't know, like two, three days before, and I kept just randomly talking to them for a while, and it was really cool to finally get to meet them in real life, I had a lot of fun, and, and you know what I mean, it was... I don't know, it was, it was just such a cool feeling to meet these people and meet everyone like that. And uh, so we hung out in our room for a couple hours, then the night was done. And uh, next morning we woke up, went straight to the event, and uh, that's when I met up with actually, I ended up meeting Minecraft Finest Crew. And they were awesome to meet in real life, because it was all three of them, and it was just like, oh my god, you know what I mean? It's crazy to see all of them there. And then I also, that same day, I met uh, Jordan, Captain Sparkles, uh, who else did I meet? I think... That might have been it for the people I met for that day. Yeah, I, I didn't really meet. Oh, I I ran into. I didn't get to talk to him. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Oh, Chilled Chaos. I saw Chilled Chaos. I didn't get to talk to him much. Mitch went over and had a nice conversation with him. Actually, funny enough, he went over to Chilled Chaos, and instead of talking to him normally, he surprise attacked him, having Chilled not know anything about him or who he was, and he just scooped his nipple. I was like, and even he was like, uh. Uh, he was like really freaked out, and then she's like, "Oh, it's Beige and Canadian." He's like, "Oh, thank God! I thought you were a." Yeah, so hey, that that was pretty funny. And uh, I forgot one thing actually. Leading up to this, we were trying to get YouTubers together for a paintballing event. We got all of them together, and uh, we also ran across a, uh, a it was a Twitch streamer who's a friend with Preston, uh, the Atomic Penguin. He was really cool to meet up with and hang out with, and he went paintballing with us all. And uh, up until that point, I, I saw Adam there, Sky. And I decided to teach him what scoop boxing was. And uh, for those of you that don't know what scoop boxing is, you probably don't because it's something that originated in my school, is when you, you fight him like this and you scoop. And the goal, instead of punching someone, you just get to get a scoop on it. Wait, actually, this is pretty interesting. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Anyway, and the point is to scoop them, run the titty, and try and just just beat them, just beat them that way, just keep fighting them, getting really intense. And I thought I, I thought I had Adam on the ropes, and then finally I got I got tossed to the ground, and he got a few good scoops in. And uh, this is to say I lost my scoop championship medal that uh, I had gained from Preston the night before. I lost that. It was. It was very sad, it was very sad. But after that, we went paintballing, and that, it was pretty decent fun. I mean, the, the, I didn't have the best time at the place, which is a story for another time I don't really want to talk about too much. But, um, I mean, it was still fun to go paintballing, though, and get to shoot some of these guys, you know, with a national paintball gun. I, I, I didn't get to hit anyone in the nuts, though. It was very sad. My goal was probably to hit Mitch in the nuts, and I, I didn't get that chance. But it was all good. And then after that, we ended up uh, heading back uh, and going out to a sushi place. That was really cool. And then I went bowling for a while. And uh, then the night came, and, and this was my final night at PAX, unfortunately. And I said, so hello. No shit. I was like, hmm. you know, cause I, I wasn't even just a little sad. I was actually very sad because it's like this is probably the last time I'll see these guys for a year, maybe even, maybe even longer. You know what I mean? Like it was, it was really sad to have to say goodbye to some of these people, like Mitch and Matt, and just just everyone in general. It was like, damn, you know, it made me kind of sad. But um, at least we got a good thing, and we had all the guys that we were going to hang out with up until that point, like the people from the first night. Uh, and this time, not just them, we also had, uh, Nick, Dr. PlayStation Palmer, and, uh, Noah come over as well, and we all just chilled out in our room for a good, like, six, seven hours until, I think, I think it was, like, 6.30 in the morning. A lot of them at this point had actually left, but it, we, we all, in general, hung out until 6.30, you know, played some poker, things like that, but, but all in all, it was a lot of fun, and that really was my PAX adventure in a very quick, you know, I guess highlight reel, I, I, it's kind of weird to describe all these things without having the video footage to show you guys some of the cooler, finer points, but more or less, that's exactly what happened at PAX, so anyway guys, I hope that sums it up for you, and I hope you guys don't get that mad at me that I kind of, not lost the footage, the footage is on the camera right over there, that's why, that's why I keep looking over to the side, because I keep staring at the camera like, come on, help me out, buddy, oh, oh look, you like that side profile on my nose? Yeah, I know you guys like that, I know you like that side profile, anyway, but no, for real though, it, it was a lot of fun, and 
I just had a nice time. It was really great to meet these people, and hopefully you can all uh, accept the fact that I won't be able to get those videos up probably for about like two weeks or so. It's just what has to happen. I don't have to cord with me. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and have a good night, everyone.